Hello, it's Yannis, and today I will show you how to add Firebase service to our existing Instagram-like Ionic 2 application. Okay, um, I have modified um, our Instagram-like application a little bit to be able to configure Firebase. So please navigate to this site. So github.com slash yamzi slash instagram dot firebase and clone this repo. Okay, uh, the first thing we need to do is to configure the Firebase um, service, uh, Firebase real-time database. If you head over to console.firebase.google.com, you can uh, sign in with your Google account and create a new project. Uh, you can call it uh, whatever you like. We will call it Instagram and select a country. And this will create a new project. And if we click on it, we are uh, mainly interested in database section. So if you click on database, here we will uh, first import some um, database scheme. Uh, it is a JSON file and you can find it in the, this Instagram.firebase repo. So let's click on import JSON, browse, and here under Instagram uh, Firebase, this is uh, this uh, GitHub repo, and under app, you can find this import JSON file, and in this will create a, a photo array with uh, one entry, sample one, uh, blah source, and uh, zero likes. Okay. Um, now we need to now we need to set rules for our database. By by default, the, there um, you cannot uh, write or read from database with uh, unauthenticated user. So go over to read and uh, change it to auth is equal to null and write is equal to null, and just click on publish, and this will. Uh, change the rules of database. Uh, now, the last thing we need to do with this Firebase section is to head over to home of our project. And here you will get three um, guides. One is Android, one is iOS, and we are interested in web app. So if you click that, it will generate the API key, all the main uh, database URL and storage bucket for you, and uh, copy this somewhere because we will uh, use it later in our Ionic application. Okay, like this. Now we open uh, the uh, Instagram Firebase repo. I have opened it in the Visual Studio code. Okay, and the first thing uh, we need to do is run npm install. If you clone this, just uh, go to the command line and run npm install. This will install all the node packages. And uh, for example, I have uh, edited this package JSON file and added the Firebase and Angular file, which is a Firebase uh, wrapper for Angular. Okay. Um, when this is installed, head over to app.ts file. And here we will add uh, Firebase and inject it globally into our Ionic 2 application. So import, import from uh, Angular Fire 2. We will import Firebase providers and default Firebase. Okay. Now we need to head down to the Ionic Bootstrap and uh, inject it like this. We um, create an array and inject Firebase providers and default Firebase. And we add some parameters to default Firebase, which is epic key. And we head over to our notepad where we copied the files from Firebase and we can just uh, copy and paste them here. Okay, like this. 
Okay, we had the app, API key, authentication domain, database URL, and storage bucket. Okay, next we will navigate to home.ts file. So under pages, home and home.ts file, first import the from Angular Fire 2. We import the Angular Fire class and the Firebase list observable so um, for example you've seen here that uh, this is a array we will get it as a list uh, of uh, it will be a type of observable and we will we will be able to uh, real-time uh, update the list and it will get updated here and on all our devices listening it okay so head back to the home.ts file and here um, we change this photos uh, array to be a type of firebase list observable and uh, type of any array and we change this okay so the empty uh, array, uh, empty uh, object Firebase list observable. Okay, and now in constructor, we pass it uh, the Angular Fire class. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Next, we will uh, initialize this. Uh, angular fire on the in in it so we need to write a function ng on in it on in it and we will get photos so get photos so methods and this dot photos is now we call the this dot angular fire database list and we specify the url of our uh, data of our data so uh, this is uh, slash photos if we would go to this side slash photos we will get all these objects so we pass in slash photos okay this will get all the photos and save them to the photos firebase list observable array Okay, that's it. And in the take photo, we change uh, the this photo push is also a function on the Firebase um, database, but we pass in the, um, the source. So we create a new object, and source is like this. Plus image data and the uh, likes is zero. Like this. Okay. If it uh, return the error, we will console lock it. And next in uh, the delete photo, here we will get. Uh, so by default, uh, by default, the this file this observable returns a uh, a key of this entry too. So we will use that. I will show th this later in the HTML part, but uh, we will pass this photo key back to a function in our home TS file. So it will be a type of string. And now we will call the this photos and the remove is a function on um, Firebase database. So this remove, and we will just pass the photo key. Okay, this will remove the entry in our Firebase database. Okay, and the like photo is similar, but we need to update our database. So this dot photos dot update. Okay, and we also pass the photo key, like in delete, a type of string, photo key. And uh, a new um, 
we also pass the new number of flags. So we pass the old number of flags like this, and likes. We change this uh, object likes. Likes is plus one, so we increment it by one. This. And now the last thing we need to do is to modify our HTML file like this. Okay, um, this will be all the same, all the same. And uh, this in ng4, we pass the, we pipe it to the async. Uh, this will allow us to uh, change our uh, list re in real time. So when we will add something uh, in our mobile application and we will be serving Ionic here on desktop too. It will uh, update and uh, in other direction too. Okay. Uh, and we need to also modify this uh, click handler. So this click will, um, that's not the photo object, but the key. So photo dot key. Uh, we get this key uh, from Firebase database, and similarly, in the like photo, we will pass the photo dot key and uh, photo dot likes, so the old number of likes. Okay, uh, once our app is complete, uh, let's build and upload it to the Ionic View, like this Ionic upload, and hit enter. Once this is done, let's also start it here on our desktop by Ionic Serve. So um, I have connected my mobile phone to the PC. So this is what it looks like uh, on Android. It has one entry. This is broken because our source in our uh, seed database is um, just a random text. It's not a base 64 encoded string. And we have delete photo and black like this. Okay. We will wait for this to load. This is the desktop version. Okay. And it's the same. And we will also take a look later at this uh, database because it changes, uh, changes in real time. So let's uh, head over to Firebase console. And now I will click the like on the uh, mobile application and you can see it changes in the database in real time okay let's also do another uh, try I will take a selfie with take a photo and change the camera take a photo okay click the app and you can see it adds a new entry here with the source of this um, base 64 and call it and like zero if we head over to our uh, web app uh, web version, you can you can also like it. And this gets updated, but it's not real time. It will update. Okay, now it updates. And also we can delete this photo. It's also deleted here. So you can see it's real time. And if we add a photo, it will get added in real time. And it's really cool. Okay, that's it for our um, uh, Ionic 2. So Instagram-like application with Firebase. Uh, see you next time.